Good morning, and as always, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So we said at the beginning of this unit that we're in the unit of the kinematic equation. And so far, we've been setting up the variables that go into those kinematic equations. If you look behind us, we've actually written down the kinematic equations because they're going to be used and they're going to stay there for the rest of this unit. So what we'd like to talk about is what these actually mean. Yeah, and feel free to come back to this. We encourage you to have these in front of you at all times. The first, that position time, x equals x naught plus vt. That's when the velocity does not change. You only use that equation when the acceleration is zero meters per second squared and is always zero meters per second squared. So velocity, our velocity equation is talking about v naught plus acceleration times time. And so just like our displacement equation, so this is when our... Well, when your acceleration is a constant value, and really, this is helpful. You'll notice there's no position in that equation. So when, when you're asked for position, you don't use that equation. And just like if you're asked for in, initial or final velocity, you wouldn't use the first equation. So we've thrown a special asterisk on this one, even though basically we'd like you to take notes on all of these. We've thrown a special asterisk on this equation because we're talking about the, the velocity squared equation. And, it, and, and so velocity is not squared plus two acceleration times the displacement. So we've actually used the previous two equations to solve for this equation. Yeah. And what's tricky about this equation is one, there's no time, right? So this is an equation independent of time. And what's hard is if you solve for initial or final velocity because of the square, you'll never be able to know if mathematically that velocity was positive or negative. So you have to use some intuition when you use this equation as to whether or not your V or your V naught was a positive value or a negative value. And then our longest kinematic equation, X equals X naught plus V naught time plus one half acceleration times squared. So we're gonna have a lot of practice with this equation because it's a lot, but keep in mind that intuitively, if we have something that's at rest at zero meters, we actually can lose a lot of this equation very yeah. easily. So that equation really does get shortened in a lot of situations. And to be fair, that's my default equation. Uh, that's the first equation I always use because nine out of 10 times, that will be the equation that will work. And the one out of 10 time means I just go and find another equation. And then we've rewritten these kinematic equations instead of in the x format, which is what the previous four equations were written as, we've written them in the y format, which is all that's saying is that instead of something moving this direction, we're now moving this direction. 